Frequent power cuts are a common story in Tanzania, but that could soon change. Following the recent connection of electricity from the Julius Nyerere hydropower project located along the Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania to the national grid, a series of trials have now begun. We thank God that the initial trials from dry testing and now wet testing have been problem free. We ask that Tanzanians be patient. Our hope in eliminating electricity challenges in the country lies in the Julius Nyerere hydropower dam and we have faith we will complete it soon. The government says Tanzania's electricity woes go beyond a climate-induced decline in water levels in the country's hydropower dams. The country's electrical infrastructure has not been serviced for a long time. We are now embarking on a maintenance exercise, and when we do so, we have to shut down some power generating stations while leaving others, hence a shortage of electricity. Tanzania currently generates around 1,900 megawatts of electricity through a combination of hydropower and and natural gas, an amount that is struggling to meet the country's growing needs. The Julius Nyerere hydropower project, costing around $3 billion, is expected to channel over 2,000 megawatts of hydropower into the national grid to be consumed locally while exporting any surplus. The Ministry of Energy says the Julius Nyerere hydropower dam project is nearly 96% complete. Once finished, it will be Africa's fourth largest dam, the ninth largest globally, and East Africa's largest power station, potentially ending Tanzania's electricity shortages and providing an economic boost for the nation. The excitement among residents over the possibility of an increase in electricity supply is high. I think it's in the thoughts of many Tanzanians that we should have a 100% reliable electricity supply because it helps with many things. There are people who have failed to do business due to power cuts. As a Tanzanian, when I hear of these trials at the dam, it's an indication that the electricity supply will go up. I really feel good. I am beginning to see light for the country. Since its start in 2019, the Julius Nyerere hydropower project has dealt with multiple delays and environmental concerns from critics. Now expected to finish in the first half of 2024, the government hopes the project will help write a new chapter of stability in the country's energy story. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.